Hello everyone, we're going to have a look and see what is coming through for your reading. It's me, Moonlight Guidance, and this is a safe space where you're always very welcome. And if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like the reading, comment down below and subscribe. And let's begin. I'm going to give you a tarot reading. I'm going to also use my charms because I just love the charms, honestly. I really do. I've just been getting into them a lot recently and enjoying them tremendously. Um, actually, before I do that i want to use this other deck as well and just get a bit more of an overview as to what we're looking at so let's do that here so i feel like there's someone on your mind um there's a bit of a disconnected energy that i'm picking up on you feel a little bit lonely in the situation and yeah you feel disconnected you could really do with this person's support you could do this person's communication and uh, you want to essentially know what's going on in regards to this person. So nine of pentacles, they're still kind of living their life, doing their thing, and you still feel very disconnected from them because they feel like they're not saying a lot or doing much. So queen of pentacles, for the time being, you're putting yourself first and kind of doing what you can for yourself, but still you can't help but wonder what this entire situation uh, means. So let's have a look. What is going on in this situation? Got the world card. Queen of Wands. Oh, three of pentacles. This person that you are uh, worrying about and wondering about is someone that has kind of gone out into the world. I'm going to do a charm reading, which is why I put them into this tray. I'm not just like randomly holding up the tray with the cards like, yes. Yes, these are your cards. And then this is now your card. Um, this here really does represent the fact that this person's gone out into the world. They have consulted somebody. I feel like this is a female and they've paid for a service. That sounds dodgy as hell when I say it like that. I'm not saying it in a, in a way like that, okay? I'm saying this in a way of this person has gone and gotten a spiritual reading, a tarot reading, um, or a psychic reading in regards to the situation between you both. So they've gone out into the world and they've consulted this person and paid money for a, a service in terms of a tarot reading or a psychic reading. And I'm going to tell you everything that this person has told your person about you and the connection that's literally what i'm going to be reading on and i felt like we were going to do a charm reading and it's definitely here okay so that's really fascinating yeah they haven't been paying for other kinds of services if you know what i mean this is a service that is very sort of professional in that sense and they've just wanted some answers and more of like a, a second opinion an understanding of what's going on so let's see what has this is a big question what has this reader or psychic said to your person about you and your connection with them? It's here. I'm not worrying so much about the placement because it's actually for the question that I asked rather than the actual placement. But have they said some stuff? This person, how do I, so when I say this person, I'm talking about the um, psychic, let's just call them the psychic, okay? And we'll refer to your person as your person. So the psychic here has basically said there is solid potential between them and yourself. There is solid potential things can really come together in a long-term commitment, things can progress, things can really move in that direction, this is a relationship that can really happen. They have really made that very, very evident and very clear to your person because we have a key here with a heart, we have another key here, and we also have a ring. So much clarification already happening. So your person knows that there is potential between you and them for a long-term future. And I think the thing that's made them realize that, okay, this person isn't just saying what I want to hear is because they've actually really affirmed certain things about you to them and basically said things like, you are much more like aware of yourself. You're more aware of what you want in your life. You, you know your worth, you know your energy. You're not going to settle for anything less. 
So they basically told your person, if you don't get yourself together and you don't act sooner rather than later, you could end up losing this person to somebody else because they're not going to wait around and sit around for you. You know, you've got to work on yourself. You've got to emotionally get yourself together because they're getting themselves together and they're working on themselves and becoming mature. But what the heck are you doing? So, you know, this person really has sort of called out your person and made them think like, oh my gosh, wow, like you're not just telling me what I want to hear. You're like telling me, you know, that I, I do have things I need to work on and I need to get my stuff together and I need to get my life together. I need to be more mature. I need to, I need to, I need to get onto it. So that's why we have the I, okay? It's this real sense of this psychic saying, yes, there's potential here, but hello, you need to get yourself together. Otherwise, forget about this person. You know, if, if you can't get yourself together, why would this person want you? And so they've really affirmed your character to them and said, this person's one in a million. But if you want one in a million, you got to work on yourself, which is the I energy, okay? Again, we have that here with a star as well, that this person is special, which is what the psychic has said about you. And this can be a really special connection, but you've got to take care of it and you've got to be loving and you've got to be kind and you've got to be caring and consistent. You can't just let it go. If you let it go, then you're losing something that is for your highest good. So this psychic really has actually done you a favor. I know that sounds so crazy and so random, but like, honestly, like it's done you a favor that you don't need to go and explain yourself to this person and tell them like, I'm amazing, I'm caring, I'm kind, I know what I want, I know who I am, and if it's not you, then goodbye, it's someone else. The psychic has really said something that I think if you said it to them, they'd feel like, whoa, like this is a lot, but it coming from somebody else makes them view things in a different way. And that's what I see here. It's almost like the psychic has stirred the pot in a very positive way and has sort of mixed everything together so that the separation in like you know sometimes there are certain juices where if you just sort of let it sit for like half an hour it will separate so there's like water at the bottom and then all of the concentrate is like at the top and this happens with natural fruit juices too by the way I just want to <laughs> mention I know that's so random to say but that's the thing is that sometimes you we, we need to go in and sort of stir it so it all kind of comes back together and we can see the full picture and so that's what this psychic has basically done for them and to them. And we also have here as well, um, dream. So, you know, this, this psychic has basically said like, this is a dream person. This is a dream person, but you got to get yourself together. And if you don't, then you could lose the dream in terms of all of this happening. And then we've got here, imagine as well. So again, you know, really painting that picture in your person's mind and making them realize that this is something really special that they shouldn't try to, you know, let go of that there is something so beautiful in terms of something so long term. And your person here is becoming more and more obsessed with you, more and more connected to you. This is what we see here, you know, really starting to feel um, the fruits of the situation, starting to feel very romantically uh, driven with abundance here, okay? And they're starting to, you know, we've also got here, what's for you will not pass you, but they definitely get scared that if they take too much time, then they've got to chase after you, run after you. It's not something ideally they want to do. They'd rather have you now that you are in front of them. And here as well, we see this beautiful temperance energy. Okay, this is Sagittarius energy. This is them realizing that your energy is very angelic, whether you're male or female. They feel like you have an angelic energy, a loving, caring energy, that you are literally an angel in their life. It's not something they want to give up. They know they need to work towards you. We've got here a flower and also uh, this leaf as well. Okay, you open up their heart chakra and they feel so lucky to have come across you. Okay, even with the starfish as well. We also have here this racket as well. Okay, which is really interesting because I feel like this person likes to play sports or do something here. There's there's a racket here. They could have picked this up recently as a sport or something, but it's almost like, you know, they don't want to play alone. This this has a bit more of a meaning in the sense that they don't want to play alone. They want a partner, okay? So that's what we see. We've also got here donut as well. There's a very like sweet energy that comes through in regards to you. It could also be that there's something here about donuts between you both. But the main thing is they feel like this is a wise connection. This is actually something that's not toxic. They don't believe that you're a toxic person, basically. They feel like you're wise, you're intelligent. You are basically their dream person and they don't want to let someone like you go. And that is what they have, basically all psychic has told your person, like this is an intelligent person, they're very sweet, they're very kind, you know, this is, this is your partner, don't let it go. Do something, work on yourself, get yourself together, heal yourself, put yourself first, and 
you know, things can really move in the right direction. So this is your reading. Now, I do actually offer personal tarot readings. If anyone is interested, I offer personal readings. I offer um, also uh, rituals for different areas of your life, for love, money, marriage, career, success, healing, beauty, justice, etc. And uh, there's thousands of five-star reviews on my website, shopmoonlightguidance.com. There's also intention items as well. There's bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, candles, sage bundles, teas, and so much more. Everything's always there. I also have um, TikTok and Instagram, moonlight.guidance on Instagram, Moonlight Guidance and TikTok, post short readings on there every day. And I'll see you all very, very soon. All right, take care, everyone. Bye.